The Prime Minister is doing an interview this evening and he's trying so hard to set the um, direction of his campaign and one of his one of his targets is going to be housing and he believes that the problem that younger people have with getting on the housing market is getting the deposit. He's of course completely wrong and Nick Robinson uh, will say well you know basically you're a rich kid and you didn't have the problem and Sunak will insist no 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 it's the deposit I know I know he is wrong the deposit is a problem and he he, and he says you know m most uh, a, a lot of younger people have incomes where they can in fact afford a mortgage once they've got through that problem he's right about that too the problem is not just the deposit it's the system which is set up so for example if somebody is self-employed it's almost impossible to get a mortgage whereas it used to be quite easy and that goes back to a tightening up of the system under Gordon Brown but it's a system which has become extraordinarily inflexible and people uh, well into the age of 30 are living at home with their parents because they have no other choice because they can't get a house or they are renting at exorbitant rates because they can't buy a house because they can't get on that housing ladder and Rishi Sunak and the Conservatives have been in power for 14 years it's only now that they notice this lenders require income verification uh, proof to repay a mortgage self-employed people typically don't have regular pay slips making it much harder to demonstrate stable earnings and indeed they have to prove with extensive documentation such as two or three years of tax returns profit and loss statements and sometimes a letter from an accountant and even that may not be enough to convince a mortgage uh, provider that that a self-employed person can do that and what is ironic is the present government has been encouraging younger people to become entrepreneurs younger people to be self-employed and yet then trapping them in the house of mummy and daddy self-employed people also have irregular um, income streams uh, subject to fluctuations based on their business performance and lenders may be wary of the variability and the potential for income to dip but insofar as it also it dips it also rises and people don't want to take the risk income um, mortgage providers don't want to take that risk and there's plenty of other people queuing up for mortgages rich older people who are already established who may, for example, be, 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 be getting a second or a third house, holiday home. And because of that perceived risk, people who are younger people who are self-employed um, are expected to have higher deposits um, as a form of security for the lender against potential default and the the credit history, maintaining a good credit history. It, you, you might say, oh, it's crucial, but it's not always possible. Self-employed people often have more complex financial situations, including business debts, which affect their credit rating and subsequently their mortgage application. And there's a limited number of mortgage lenders that are willing to work with self-employed individuals due to the added complexity imposed by government and not relaxed under the present Conservative government. The limits uh, th th that were imposed are also limits to the options available and uh, it results in less favourable terms compared to those uh, offered mortgages with 
um, salaries, who to mortgages which are which, which are given to salaried employees, it seems unfair. That there's this that the, 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 there's this um, uh, aggression to self-employed people when self-employment is something which is encouraged by the government and uh, and and um, lenders want to, want want a proof of future income. How is that possible when you are self-employed? Uh, contracts, ongoing projects, it, it, it assumes everything is is predicated on some sort of factory methodology. It's not. Many, many self-employed businesses are quite different. And, you know, you, you can look for the tips to get round this, to organize your business records a little bit more clearly, to improve your credit score, to increase the savings for your deposit to seek specialist lenders. But there should be a fair platform for everybody, whether they are self-employed or employed. If you are paying tax, and if you are working, the government should be there to make sure that both employees and self-employed individuals can get on that housing ladder, can get a first home, and, and and the Gordon Brown philosophy was that people who were self-employed had lied. Well, some of them did. But that doesn't mean every single self-employed person should then be punished for that deceit. It's a very hostile environment. And um, it's a very aggressive environment. And I don't think that when Rishi Sunak talks about housing and, oh, we, we, we'll, we'll help people with deposits, we'll help people, first-time buyers, we'll help them with their, um, oh, the, 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 these funny taxes. No, that's not the problem. The problem is they simply do not earn enough to have the options. The options aren't there. And Rishi Sunak comes across as extraordinarily patronizing and out of touch in the way that he deals with this issue. Uh, and I don't think tonight is going to be any different.